Translucent concrete was first invented in the mid-19th century by American manufacturer Thaddeus Hyatt, who set about embedding bullseye glass lenses in an amalgam of cement. It was later developed in France by Gustave Joachim, who filed a patent in 1909. As early as the 1900 Paris Exposition, a new trade was born. Glass manufacturers and installers started to convert their old glassware machinery to manufacture pieces that could easily be embedded into innovative compositions. Translucent concrete soon settled in public and private equipment to brighten up circulation spaces and enable daylight penetration into blocks. Manufacturers such as Dindeleu, Divorne or Le Forestier would decorate bank halls, train stations, swimming pools and many other public premises with vaulted ceilings, domes and canopies where the shimmer of glass competed with the demonstrative precision of concrete beams. These new and modest architectures used pioneering techniques to combine concrete reliefs and glass prismatic inlays. The translucent concrete dome and canopy act as luminous roof and wall by exalting the light which, as it penetrates into the space, softens the harshness of the cement. The simple geometric design of these compositions gives rhythm to facades and alternates chiseled concrete, bush hammered trumos, and fluted glass. These glassware items of various shapes and sizes, square, triangle, rhombus and circle, are assembled into various complex patterns of architectural iconography. Their shimmering colors glow and illuminate furniture items, interior recesses and works of art. Each glass block is carefully chosen for its specific qualities. Whether it is exposed to natural or artificial lighting, it diffuses, channels or redirects the silver patterned beam to create diaphanous or iridescent atmospheres. This process is both resistant and fragile, as well as difficult to restore. Though associated with the inventive architects of the first half of the 20th century, it now contributes to the originality of a generous heritage that is still mostly unknown. Music